So right here now, what, what, what's, what's the gate? It's like, it's like what they have to do, like a long iron across the gate. So one pillar plant. plant so this was the entrance to the yes. camp? Yes. So they have one iron plant, plant there and one plant on the other side. So what they do now, at the end across the gate now, is like a heavy, heavy yeah. head they have on one side. So what they do, they press it down and it go up in the air. Mm. And you pass and it go in and they just let it go So back. people couldn't just walk in here no, like no, that? No, no. So people could have passed the road? They could have passed and go and look after your animal and such and things like that, you know? Uh -huh. Yes, but you see time like this here now, time like when it's dark. Time, it get dark. Mm -hmm. Nobody can pass them tiny because that is like a few time, you know? Mm. So they can go able to pass. Okay. Now inside there is the armory. Inside there is where all the ammunition were kept. Okay. And where was the garage? The garage is on the other side. The ga where? The garage. No, oh, here is there to keep the keep the guns on, on the other side was the oh, was the garage where they have all the vehicles, the truck and everything packing there, packing right there, you know. Right. Yeah. And opposite here is where they lived. Yes. Yes, inside the building there is where they, where they live, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here is is, is downstairs where they keep to keep all the food stuff and and thing down here, you know. Okay. Yeah. Downstairs and upstairs. So here was the kitchen, you know. And then when 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 the bell ring, they 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 at the time that around around this time, mm -hmm. they call them for the food. So like when the bell ring, they call they they, they, they come, come out for the, for the food. food. Yeah. All right. The bell rings for breakfast. It rings for the lunch, and then it rings again for the dinner. You know, Mills. We are here. Hmm? We are in history class today. It's quite. Um, historical day in Grenada. It is October the 25th and yeah, we're here with the Caracos historian Mighty Injun. Of course. And yes, we are in history class with the kids. Yeah. Jin, October 25th, it's quite an historical day for Grenada, Caracol and Pichimatnik. Many times we hear of the stories in Grenada as it regards to the revo, the overthrow of Bishop, what transpired in Grenada. But now, let's discuss in the Caracol context, um, what do you remember? We had the old Piari camp. This is during the revel. This is where the soldiers lived during that period, which is located in Bel Air. Formerly, it was the resource center. We say Hillsborough Multipurpose Center. Then it moved over to the Top Hill. Old police station. The old police station, the but now we call station. it multipurpose or resource. Now multi no. yeah. resource or whatever you're calling it now. And then well, the I don't know it to be that. I know it as old, old police, police station. station. Because they were not the police station was. Right. And, and then they rebuild a new police station. Mm -hmm. And then agriculture used to be operating from there. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then Top Hill, the senior citizen home where it is located well, that, now, they moved over there. That was, here. that was what we call the rest house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and history, that, that even, not, even when Gary, in the early time, mm -hmm. as a little boy, when I mm -hmm. hear him about Gary come out in Aruba and he run away, and uh, there is where no Gary. Mm -hmm. no, it's about Maurice Bishop and the new drill movement. Um, Gary, as you just mentioned, the Mong was gone. And, um, the overthrow in 19 or the Revo period starting from 79. What do you remember? Well, not even 79, you know. That mm -hmm. thing is with Bishop and them thing. Mm -hmm. That is on the old years 73. Okay. When they have strike, they have been all kind of thing, them thing, they were some kind of they, they were looking, going for independent and uh, talking okay. about it. And so much activity. And oh, so around that period with the Bloody Monday in 73. Yes. Bloody Monday, as far as we heard it here, we in Kiariku, we wasn't close to Grenada. Eh? Tell you the truth in relation. Mm -hmm. Bishop is to give free entry to Grenada from Kiariku. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell us what happened in 79 from, from your knowledge. Well, if I tell you in 1979 with the rare voting. Mm -hmm. Me and my other two brethren was in with the admin don't you? And our other brethren, the Aikunta, come down in the country and meet with. 
and tell us what the happenings or where we will take over the country and what are taking place. So it wasn't done by the soldiers, it was done by the people. Yeah, as far as in Carrico, as far as we know, it didn't yes. have no soldier here. Yeah? Yes, mm -hmm. that's why they say created history. Mm -hmm. The people overthrew the government okay. because that time Gary traveled. Gary was in America. Right. When that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, well, we sell from the garden, we go down to take the donkey. And we go down town. When we go to town, we see what taking place when we see revolutionary flag raised on the police station okay. and all kind of things. And we join in, in the activity because mm -hmm. what we see is what we like. Mm -hmm. So we get ourselves between it. I and all this, so they keep in duty okay. in the night on the beach within the rebel time. I was yes. not a soldier, mm -hmm. but I had to take care of my country. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody. Because he, he had this thing we also say America with the dicks and the whatever missile um, thing they had. So we do we protecting what we protecting with we also have some three or three little three or three go, go on rifle. Mm -hmm. We we don't know how effective was them because we don't ever grow up and know but one of them kind of thing. But that is what we have and we prepare to die. Mm -hmm. Defending Carico. Yes. yes. All of us get out there. Right. I know, I know you was not a soldier during that period, mm -hmm. but there are many people who are soldiers. Some people that I know now, and they used to live right here where we're sitting mm -hmm. now. Well, but so during that period, tell me what you remember um, during 79 and 83, what used to happen. I remember they used to bring milk and sugar and all that stuff. What so about? tell us what did Bishop do during that period? Bishop is so You get in, everybody get in the free milk, free water. That's the thing with feeding will have as that makes me love doing it. You look the love and the care mm -hmm. that the people used to receive. Nice. You know, free education, hungry children are going to school hungry. They will provide food. There's all the slogan that say, grow what you eat and eat, eat what, what you grow. grow. Yes. Well, they have the big people make a different school in six road. Okay. We're going to run farming or whatever. There was this man running it from the other the time up in South Wales. Mm. You know? Uh huh. Uh huh. And no, people did not, did not didn't scarce or nothing. Right. I know, I think Mr. Logan even spoke about for Pity Matnik. In Pity Matnik, um, the opening, I think it was the marketing board in Pity Matnik. They did open the marketing board in Pity Matnik. You know, that's not that Pity Matnik. What was it? He's been cleaning. Very good. Yes, the marketing board. Very good. Anything else? He gave the marketing to electricity. And because of all these things, oh yes, it's not a milk, very good, a lot of non-fat milk, very, very good milk. There's a lot of big children to come to school and get bad of milk and go home. In fact, they're walking, they're watching the road, a lot of the bad boss and the milk all over the room. That was the days of the revolution. That was the days of Maurice Bishop. And the thing is again. The open thing they call the housing scheme, where you, the, the, like you, you need a house for mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. you go in and get all your material nice. and you pay $5 a month. $5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a plenty of people, everybody, they want people start to get really independent of themselves. Yes. Because uh, they don't need living there and begging again, everybody start owning a house. Right. The fair bishop made focus was education yes. and health. Look at it again. When we have free education, we don't have to pay for that. Or sometimes ago, I know I had to pay $50 a ton for my son to go to school and my daughter. But now it's here it is, free education. Our people have made the revolution. The revolution is the people. And without educating and preparing them for the role mm -hmm. that they have to play within the change that is taking place now, we would not have a revolution. Yeah, the, I am from Grenada, Arico, and Piti, Martinique. 
You. You are from Matnik. Not maybe, man, I witness that. I'm telling you what mm -hmm. I hear people say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell you this already. I know this woman in tongue, she was over 70 years and she was totally illiterate. Mm -hmm. And uh, she had this brother in America who used to send she, she little warnings every month. Mm -hmm. So her other woman used to collect it and give it to her. Because the woman going and get it to the bank with what all the people proceeding. We sit there and give the woman the woman thing. Mm -hmm. And the rebel send teachers in that woman house and teach her at that age to read and write. Nice. And when this woman read and write, she writes she brother herself and tells she brother, don't put nobody between the business now. She could interfere her own business. <laughs> and when the woman and the brother start to communicate, you man leave she house and go quiet with the other one stand and put water in she skin and tell her she find out now the advantage she taking on her. Because what the brother she does receive from the brother is quite different to what she used to receive when she oh was an illiterate. So in other words, Education is like if the, the brother used to send she 20 US more. I mean, I know so I see it, eh? but according to what took place, mm -hmm. that is how I just making an analysis over why it should take place. Right. Mm -hmm. right, right. And the woman becomes so independent, but plenty of people, plenty of children who even go to secondary school and was unsuccessful. In the rebel city, we get them and make they get how much they get the piece of paper to the name. Right. Well, I heard there were militias, that is the people who used to train to become a soldier. Um, they used to use Dumfries as a range for shooting. Well, I know not, you normally... It's not really there to so train to become a soldier. Yeah. Uh -huh. They were trained to learn to defend the country. So you used to witness them down there? Or you, have, you hear them shooting up there? I used to see them, I did it in them. The passing by me, I did them when I was in watermelon. I used to look after everybody. Nice, no, maybe nice. man, every, no, no, everybody in the army was French. Well, Abdullah was the head of the army one time. The right. Commander, right. That we mm -hmm. But me and Abdullah never been something like close to so what okay. We wasn't them say have any differences, you know. Okay. But we know these people used to hold conversation. conversation. And okay. 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 But okay. many of the soldiers, we used to get into plenty conversation. Okay. I remember. The other one used to call goat. Okay. Before the revolution, used to be up here mm. with, a part, with one of them, a man they call Honey. Okay. So we had known him before. So after the revolution, he became in in a soldier. We had a good relationship. You know, I could meet him, we talk. Sometimes he used to pass by, we pass all in the yard. Mm -hmm. Because they were passing to go and do the um, right. military training. Right. Yeah, because he used to be. I mean, you saw the football team, mm. and I used to go and look at football in the town when I could find the time because I like them things and I support them things. Okay. You know, and I used to look at him, and he used to be between everybody, no different. Mm. Although he was the commander, you know, so I can't say anything good about him, and I can't say anything mm. bad. I understand. And when you can't say good, don't say bad. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that was a day in Grenada. Yeah. I hear so many stories that transpired well, about what took place on I the was, fort, I the overthrow of Bishop. I to us. Of course. This is the wall where Morris Bishop and his men were executed. Mm -hmm. They lay them against this wall. Like that? Like this. Ooh. With rifles to them. Wow. Wow. That was a bloody day. And you know um, yeah, monument has been erected. Plaque yeah. erected. Yeah, in honor of them. And if you look, um, you can scroll down and they would see all, all the people the who yeah who were killed. Alright. And if you come closer, mm -hmm. does it have a passing bullet all? Of course. Yes. You can see some. Yes. Uh, this this looks like one. I see one here. You see one there? 
Yes, yes. I see how you won already? Yeah. That's a bullet hole. Mm hmm So you yes. have to find the next one? Um, this. Uh, that looks like one again. And up here. You got it right. Yeah. The invasion. Was it here that I heard that people jumped, people leaped for their life? Well, could have been from here, from all angles. During the revolution, it can be boy. Here too high. <laughs> well, I can't believe it's from up here. They did. Up in Grenada, mm. I think they, 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 when Bishop was at Kupanda in Saras. Okay. And they and were then, sh they were shouting the one their leader and free their leader. And leave Grenada and come up here the Thursday. Uh -huh. And I think the real thing start to happen my lady Friday and they were going to the weekend because that was when the people go and free him. Mm -hmm. And I come up the day before they free him. Okay. And when the people when they free him, they say he went on the fourth. Well many people say he had no right to us to go on the fourth. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't see the reason for them saying he had yeah, no right. right to go on the foot because he was he was the head of the uh, um, security. Country. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then they had some of members on the foot in the in the lockup as far as I understand. Yeah, so he stood up for his people. Yes. And Bishop was a man stand up for his people, man. Because all, all these things were going on. Bishop got that news even when he wasn't here. Mm -hmm. Because as far as I heard this thing in the time, I can't remember it clearly. No. But Bishop was out there. And I say, reason. Reason? Never. One of them even meet Bishop in Cuba and tell him my story in the middle and he say, you have to die like die with the people You could have sent you back. Bishop didn't want to come and get his tie up in the thing because he already know what he come in and meet here. Yeah. I think what, what started the whole thing is the close relationship he was building with Cuba and the fact that he was going to build the airport. So I think America said, Ronald Reagan said, now that he's building the airport in Grenada, um, he's going to use Grenada, that airport as a base and and a lot of shooting. Well, not this. The thing was with America, Bishop was putting down a military base. Right. The most comical one of all. <laughs> According to the formulators of this famous theory, Grenada's International Airport is now going to become a military base and will now become a strategic jump off point from where we can launch an attack on the great, big, powerful, mighty United States. <laughs> it looks like if we have become a superpower. That was what the propaganda we was getting. Yes, that's what they said. You know? And me and nobody in the military uh -huh, uh -huh. to work. Because but only I, small planes that could have come yes. for that size of the airport. And the airport wasn't really the only bishop talk about the airport. It wasn't a government airport or whatever. Mm -hmm. It was a, for the people. Yes. Because watch. Yes. Even people like me and Alice Patton are the airport. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never look for nothing. Yes. Even the um, Matasin, my friend, my mother, mm -hmm. all she grandchildren then is Patton. Because she buys shares for all of them. Shares. You tell us you purchase your shares, and in 20 years mm -hmm. you would start getting benefit from it. Okay, and we glad for that because airport is a national. We give them us to come out from out there and come here and go back, and the luggage do meet. Mm -hmm. When they come, the luggage staying in Barbados. Okay, every day they're going on the airport. Mm -hmm. You can come. Let's tell you, you come next tomorrow. You come to and you get people time for you to go back and go on the log and then come. So we don't want international airport when you come meet here, you meet with everything. Of course, of course. Yeah, and I think America used some of Bishop own insiders to cause strife against him and that is what caused the whole chaos. Well, it's just that we mount on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> always, eh? Always been taking place. Yeah, From day one, eh? We behave, Judas, we behave with like, Jesus. like dogs. We yes, dogs get yes. cool, 
inside mm -hmm. the pan, you get mm -hmm. right there. If and that, that is what happened. Yeah. And now we man go there mm -hmm. and he get touch with the words and the yes. other man he give him and come and fight bishop, of course, to fight bishop of course. for the leadership. Of course, of and course. And he said he get out of hand. Yes, when he yes. know after this thing happen, mm -hmm. he wish he never started it. Exactly, exactly. You know? exactly. Because he said that he go, like all women parents used to say, like you see for the shit you think Take it's it for egg. egg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You mean you mean you go get leadership and yes. you go get what is, uh, what is not for you is not for you. Yes. You see greed. For, for, for so them the, the, is greed that caused Grenada to yes. be where it is today. Yeah, follow mm -hmm. the following the assassination of Bishop yes. and his men. Eight thousand troops came in from, from the United States, you know. One thousand soldiers in Grenada to eight thousand coming in from and what the United the, States. Tell you the truth. When the, the American uh, soldiers land in Grenada, they, they lose the war, you know. Hmm. Yeah, they yes. really and truly they lose the war in Grenada because they didn't know nothing about Grenada. Yes. All they have was just a little map. map. And was a tourist map, eh? Tourist map, <laughs> no, maybe. Yes. So they didn't know nothing about how to, way to defend themselves. No, before. no, no. So you That's see why the they first. And the men had real training. So yes. the men was able to defend, defeat them. Remember they said if the first helicopter coming in, shoot so, down. This little piece of button mm -hmm. coming and say how we destroy we are not mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. There was in mm -hmm. Afghanistan. Yes. Yes. And the divert yes. to carry to, to Grenada. Grenada. Mm -hmm. So they use that as a defense and say most of the dead come from Afghanistan, mm -hmm. but in Grenada does. No. And they didn't want to leave in you know? I think it was till December month around there. That's when they get to leave and what they used to come in. To say okay they have how much thousand students here um at the school of med well yes so yes. that's why and they used to come the in but we know that's not the truth no the truth they stored up everything well but tell you the truth eh? where you see us sit down here i don't remember in the thing mm -hmm. clearly vividly right because it's not a thing i ever put in my mind or take like a study or whatever to that drive me back from here mm -hmm. so you know I don't remember anything as clear, mm -hmm. but the I could remember plenty of the detrimental part and the wickedness that they go down between the same. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, because for everybody a bishop was a god. Yeah, and you remember that same year they assassinated bishop. He went in America, I think that was the last meeting, and he was speaking about all the good things that's happening in Grenada and going to happen. He even mentioned about the airport that he's building and so many other things he was planning to open the airport March, I think it was 15th or March 13th, the fall, 1984. March 13th. 1984. Mm -hmm. What we want to do during the fifth festival on the 13th of March itself is to open our international airport on that day. Long live the people of Free Grenada. Long live the workers, farmers, youth and women of Free Grenada. Mm -hmm. What? Bishop. When Bishop that year was the year, I think, was the year of economics you know, and That's, education. Yes, yes because yes, every year yes. they yeah, used that, to declare a year yeah, of something, for whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the year of agriculture too, you know. Uh, not tell me, man. Mm -hmm. What Bishop then be going on? Carry could he go on and get a cement factory? Yes. That we don't I plan me. Everything we don't plan out the roads going to be. Well, I have we own university. The shopping point was happy mm -hmm. Everything was on document mm -hmm. already. Mm -hmm. With yeah. our have we own university in Grenada? No, maybe because Bishop mm -hmm. is not that all that, yeah, all that free set free university for one and all. Yes. Free education yes. for yes. children in all form. Yes. Nobody yes. pay for education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Education is sense so when you are educated, people can fool you. Eh? Not at all. And they don't want you to be educated. Is that? Because they, 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 they can manipulate you. Mm -hmm. So they try their best not to never let we have that. But mm -hmm. with the still making we feel how much they love us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why all of us to, be, to put us to suffer? Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Bishop is who they love the children, yes. the nation. Yes. Because he demonstrated it. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 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 Nobody is perfect. Not at all. But to the people, man, Bishop had loved it. Of course. And he showed it. Yeah. 
Long live! Yeah, man, long live the world. I wish the world would come to Marvelous Gun again. <laughs> Alright, Jim. Because the thing is, what I like at my body is the progress that the people used to get me provide for the people, man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And watch, you see the road? Uh huh. On weekend, on Sunday, and Saturday. Everybody coming out to build roads. We mm -hmm. call it self help. Right, right. I remember Blaze was president, was the opposition, yeah, you know. Blaze was politician, yeah, you know. mm -hmm. Blaze is we used to say, the men are not no God in them, the <laughs> Sunday they, they walk in. <laughs> but they are no God in them, God, God is only on Sunday. Well, huh? good yeah, question. But every, what, all roads, mm -hmm. anything to do in the country, mm -hmm. everybody coming out and do it mm -hmm. because we do what the benefit we getting from the government we could afford to do that because we don't have to buy milk we don't have to buy butter we don't have to buy plenty things we don't have to, pay, we don't have to pay to send with children to school yes they we get we get food them stuff up on food stuff what? Selfish, i remember what we have proper transport service on the island of caraco no we don't have no transport service to take the sick to grenada here before under the, um, the colonial time, we had two boats running for the government, had two boats running in between Carico and Grenada. When one going up, one coming up. Mm -hmm. Every day, every Thursday, yeah? more Wednesday, Saturday and Sunday. Government boats? Government, government didn't own the boat, but government had them boat on charter. Ah. When I say charter, they was working the, for the got, state. Yes. Yes. Do you remember the name? Well, the last two was Emmanuel C. and Miriam B. Mm -hmm. I used to live here and go in Grenada and look at movie on Saturday night and come back up Sunday. I go in down with one on Saturday, Saturday one. I go in movie and come up Sunday. Basically, you know about them both? Yeah, I know Miriam B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Emmanuel C was a um, kid boat in Winward, kid McFarlane, then the boat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why? Right. McQuilkin. McQuilkin. But listen, the day of the, the day they killed Bishop and his other men, I think it was six of them. Um, Jacqueline Craig, Fitzroy Eunice Bain, Norris Bain, Eunice White Man, and all them. I remember Curtis mm -hmm. even telling us mm -hmm. there was a news which they gave on that day, and Curtis. It was fresh in his memory, he always used to recite that news for us. And listen to the news. The Revolutionary Military Council, they had been constituted from the government of Grenada. That was an area for Grenada by Commodore Austin Austin, General of the People's Revolutionary Forces. Now, Bishop and his gang fired and the soldiers, killing two members of the PRG. That Sergeant Dossett Peter and a warrant officer, Rafael Mason, and wounding several others. The Revolutionary Forces then give company to shoot and the process the fallen people of God kill. That's Morris Bishop, Eunice and Whiteman, Jacqueline Craft, Fitzroy Bain, Norris Bain, among others. The Revolutionary Forces then insist in the wound, they didn't get into hospital. Also, left on Colonel Leon James, he dead wounded men in which Caribbean country could have civil and force a fact and army headquarters would have massive bloodshed revolving. He also indicates that in the case of Grenada, threats for limited men is because of the death of the soldier for the people. Curtis Mill is reporting for Radio Free Grenada live in of Bella. I remember there was a, a bomb which exploded. I see so many dust on top of a roof. I remember people scattering like crazy. Mommy and I, we run through the garden. Mm -hmm. Yes, where I'm standing right here now, here is where the, the explosion, like from the from the barracks, like where they, 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 they put all them thing and then they, they blow up here, down there. So right. what they put in there, was it like bombs or what? Like the, look, like the bombs and then from the, from the barracks, the guns and whatever, they bury, they bury so that they, they blow up, you know? Uh -huh. When the Americans come, they really don't bury the, bury the guns and them here. So they couldn't get it? So they couldn't get it, you know? So these were the dust and the rocks that flew yes. on our house. Yes. It was mm -hmm. a big fiasco when on the island. in Bele here, mm -hmm. everybody in Bele ex should experience yeah, yes. Because the first thing we did here, we hear they drop a bomb yeah. on the camp. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if they drop a bomb on the camp, I'm every person in Bele who was present we should acknowledge that. Yes, yes. I remember there was this yeah. big hole. We used uh -huh. to come up here and look at a big, big hole. Yeah, I remember they say I didn't see the bomb and I wasn't present. 
we were home and sitting, first, mommy and I, I was I, on the step and I don't I don't that even I that I'm um, well following that, following that period yeah. because remember the um the people from the US, the soldiers from the US they left, I think it was December Monday about so during those times now people going to school back and forth. And I think I remember going to preparatory school, tongue school them time. Mm -hmm. And I used to go in a helicopter, you used to be sitting in tongue past and sit down. Yeah, yeah, man. Plenty of I remember them. that. Well what? These people and them, that is what they do. The first thing they try to get to them is the children. The children. Because they used from to make the, me go inside from and the sit down. Children, they get Everything Everybody. they want, they it's true. question the children to them all kind of things to put in okay, the mouth me the and the ground the ties <laughs> and the children would speak and the children would tell them where to go and get what they want it's and what true. they want. It's true. Basically, you know, I remember. The first thing they do is to get to the children. Oh, I remember those mm -hmm. F-15 fighter jets zooming past you. So they're coming like from St. Vincent's side mm -hmm. because the, those okay. battleships are out there. In the waters, so when they shake out from there, and where we live in six years in, in Mount Desire up there, I used to stand up right outside the berry tree and wait for them coming down. And, and two low? of the yeah, they're flying low, and it's always two mm -hmm. flying, and they just whoosh pass. You see all the fire in the back of it. I used to like that. I wanted to go to the, uh, the air force after that, you know. I was stopped. <laughs> My mother said, Well, I went to New York <laughs> and I said, I'm going in the US Army. I ain't tell Auntie Maya nothing. Auntie Maya come out to work and meet a recruiting officer home by me. She calls his older sister. I say, put him on the plane and send him back. So they send him back? They send me back. <laughs> wow. But time so, because I did in the, in the Air Force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I used to like that. Yeah, yeah. In our history, the Revo, the invasion, we mm -hmm. cannot forget. Never, yeah. never. Yes. No, the US never. invasion, Grenada. Mm -hmm. Yeah. October. And you know, another thing again. Another topic you would hear people discussing that the holiday shouldn't be today, the 25th. The holiday should be the 19th when Bishop and his other men were killed. Yes. What do you think about that? I support that 100%. Not knowing what happened now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because the Am America didn't come and rescue us. America come and invade us. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Because, when, we when, we lose, we, when we lose, we have whoever we want to call him, we king, we god, we war prime minister. Because we, it is alleged whoever, they start up everything, the, eh? That should be the historical day. Yes. Because what? Plenty people lose their life that day, you know, not only be shopping. Of course, of because course. Far the the turn the guns on the people. <laughs> and I think it's fear. Mm -hmm. Being as you see them, they realize the people stands for bishop and was supporting bishop so vicious mm -hmm. that they didn't trust so they mm -hmm. died while they get rid of the, the people love the I bishop. don't think that they really decide to kill a man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but because of what happened mm -hmm. they the, didn't people, mm -hmm. the people they become the fear yeah man storm up the and I mean bishop. I could be wrong <laughs> But I think the bishop then get the life, lose the life to fear. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you remember that four days coffee that was imposing anyone found outside mm -hmm. shall be shot in sight. Well, I remember. I remember when Austin gave that warning. Mm -hmm. I listened that mm -hmm. when he said anyone kept mm -hmm. outside or anything shot. Them. Because sure. and what we were saying and many people they wanted to get it in and get the body and people must know the business so they yes. want to come with the coffee. Yes. Because up to now they cannot find I mean, we see something in, in a monument in Central Cemetery in Green of Bishop and other men, but not we, the I don't believe it's Bishop. They're in there. Me. His soul rest in peace. We do not know where his body is. He's not here for sure. We know that he's not here, but this is a mon monument. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, children, how was your history class today? Yeah. Did you all learn anything? Yeah. yeah. So your mommy or oh, daddy just tell you all about the repo. Well, you're, you're young, your mommy young, young, your mommy. Your mommy know anything about the revo? Mm -mm, she can't. <laughs> but plenty your of mommy, plenty of mm -hmm. your America mommy, your mommy was a revolutionary wait, country. I think your mommy know a lot about it. Hilary Richards. Yes. Yes. What your mommy told you? She told me the same parts. Engine said about the um, 
the perfume, mm -hmm. Mr. Perfume, yes. Mm -hmm. She signed up a uh, toy relationship with Moist Bishop. Yes, what was the relationship with Bishop? She actually said she's still open prayer. Right. For him when he had his meeting. Meeting? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Opposite mm. our house? Yes. Right. Well, turn to, turn to his woman. Yes. <laughs> she was a high woman. And where we are, this used to be the doctor quarters mm -hmm. before um, the, camp. the camp. So she used to babysit up here. So she had this long standing thing from. Because right. you know, our house is the closest to it in the lake. grandmother was clean to here, man. Oh, like grandma. Was clean uh, to I didn't know that. Doctor's resident, man. Uh huh. Uh huh. One thing. Okay. So them children would know here yes. as they know their home. So y'all connect today, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now y'all can go and tell your friends in school what you learned about the Revo, ain't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah but look what year was the Revo? 1979. <laughs> yes, and the invasion? March, March 13. And the invasion? When was the invasion? When they killed Bishop? What? what? And when? What year? October 19. What year? 1983. 1983. <laughs> and what happened on the 25th? The U.S. invasion. The U.S. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. Are they getting it there, man? <laughs> yeah, Are they getting it there? Right. Yes. All right, Miss Mills, that was very informative. Very, informative. very, very much the informative. I think we still have to get my brother Patrick. Patrick was a militia. He yes. used to be with them. He used to be up here. He knows everything about it. Yes. Mm -hmm. As you talk about when the militia. He almost got shot. I, I think we need to. He's very, very shy, but we have to find, we'll a, way. find a way to get him. <laughs> During the revolutionary period, you said he was a militia? Yeah, I was. <laughs> what, what's a militia? Okay, so a militia is like, okay, let me put it like, like that. Uh -huh. Okay, the PRA is higher than the militia. Okay, so that's the soldiers. Yes, the soldiers. Right. It's higher. Uh-huh. And we come like 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 the militia no, we come like the lower guys. So like a trainee or something. Yeah, like trainee. Like. Like. Alright. So no. what they used to train you all to do? Well they used to train us like to how to, to like okay when the Americans come in they used to show, teach us how to to, to, to like defend? A, defend ourselves and, right. and all this kind of thing, you know? So where you all used to do that? You all used to like go and learn to shoot or something? Yeah, so we still like go down, down freeze, uh -huh. like they still put up target uh -huh. and thing like that, you know, like. What like, they use as targets? Oh, well, it's like like cardboard. Okay. Oh, so they use uh, cardboard boxes. Yes. As okay. Yeah. So they put up at least about say about five uh -huh. cardboards. This is five of what? Uh -huh. They put up five cardboards, and they say, oh, say okay, the cardboard is, is, is like 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 uh -huh. the soldiers coming in from the sea, you know, because we we was doing it. Uh -huh. It's like close to the beach, right. you know. Right. So they say, like, let's say, okay, this is the cardboard, this is the people and them. Mm -hmm. we, we we have to shoot at, and and they, have, they say, okay, they give us five rounds mm -hmm. to shoot at, mm -hmm. and and if I tell you, well, like, Tony, family, he was in the militia, militia too, mm -hmm. and then Tony go first, and when he go first, now he, he, when he come back, he say, Patrick. By watching him, me back of me hand here. Mm -hmm. When you see me back of me hand, you bruise up. So you all had to go on the ground line? Yes, we had to go on the ground line. I don't ah, flat on with belly. Okay. And, and shoot at the target. Because okay. you see the soldiers come, you can't stand up and then right. the soldiers shoot you. Right. So you, you had to go down to. flat on the ground now and, and, and stay on the ground and shoot. I know? think I heard that was in Dumfries. Yes. Down in Dumfries. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so now. So now when Tony go and he come back now, he show me behind the hand mm -hmm. and bruise up and think mm -hmm. and I tell him, I say, by me, I don't <laughs> so go afraid. and get my hand bruised up, I kind of afraid it. I want my hand bruised, so what I do now, I don't know how I put the gun and pull her toe. Uh -huh. So it just, when I go and I press now, the five bullets go brrrr. So did you shoot a cardboard? Well, I shoot his dot. I want to see dot people up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was, a, that was one of the experiences yes, you yes, had. Yes. Nice. So. The soldiers, did they have like a good relationship with you all um, yes. as a training? Yes, because you know the soldiers is like guiding guiding the militia and them, them right. come like they're guiding us. It's like right. okay, like like mommy and daddy, you know, mommy, mommy, mommy guiding the children. Right. You know, so them like guiding, although we, we shooting at the target. Uh -huh. The soldiers and them is behind us with a gun just in case anything comes get gone. serious and then mm -hmm. kind of thing, you know. Listen, October 19th, the day that Morris Bishop and his fellow men were mm -hmm. killed. Mm -hmm. um, where were you at that time? I was in the farm school in Six Roads. Oh, so what you was doing in the farm school? What you well, we doing, there? Well, we were doing farm, it was like we were mining goats and, and then kind of thing, you know. And okay. the boss, my name, name was Sowers. 
Ah. Yes, he was like a Ghanese. Okay. You know? Right. And then then well why we didn't while we did in the farm school now we get to know like the kill bishop and then boss man tell us oh, look what happened in Greece, the kill bishop and then kind of thing. Uh -huh. You know so so we say well we go stay around still and what else we see just in case the invasion come like take place. Mm -hmm. We have to we, we have to clear the clear the air and everybody go home. Mm -hmm. You know? So what did your, your boss agree that you all stick around? Yeah he said stick around because he, so he didn't tell you how to go home? No, that when the invasion, that when, when oh, okay. the soldiers come and start invading Grenada and now and, uh -huh. and you see this black bomber jet and them pass over the over us and they start rolling and doing all kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. He tell us we have to go home because no, right, you see right now the, the army the soldiers and them in Grenada now. The American soldiers in Grenada. Mm -hmm. So we have to go home. So he say, well, he say, he say, watch, I ain't telling you to pass in the road, everybody pass in the bush mm -hmm. and I'll, I'll go home. Who we'll stay, stay, stay near Six Road? Go home and we stay like in, in Bel Air, we know them places, passing the bush. And me, or me, I afraid to pass in the road them tiny because I afraid that the soldiers are wrong. So I, said, I pass all through six in the bush, but mm -hmm. sort of by the, or by the, or by the, um, the rest house. Rest house and then come across Bel Air. And all I come across on the tomato watch to see anybody come in, you know. You go up to fence so Yes. <laughs> And you know? then it, so did you pass in the road to come across in top of the road or you pass through the bush? I pass through the bush <laughs> and I bust out by, 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 by where I am. We are um, kissing, kissing yeah. them staying there. Uh, I'm wanting it. Right, uh -huh. and I dug through the pasture down by kissing them and go down in the bottom by, the, by where the agriculture place is. Uh -huh. And I come up through the cemetery. What? And, then, and then I come down home. All right. And when I reach home, though, mommy asked me, well, Patrick, why are you Why you running? So I say, well, the, the, the boss man in six would not tell us to go home uh -huh. because they're in free grenade and also we don't want us to stay around to get shoot and then kind of things where everybody go at their home. The first place I just come out and show you, mm -hmm. when they when they bombed they like white dot he was going up inside so that time he was in the long farm school and you see all this white, white. smoke. Ah. And at the same time now, well then time we they, they have like long long line phone but it's them kind of phone to grind. Uh -huh. So I can call home down and ask mommy what going on up there? She tell me oh look they just bomb up the camp up there. Mm -hmm. You know and then and then she she tell me oh, I see everybody okay home oh, and thing she said oh, yes everybody okay. Mm -hmm. So I say, I say, I say, okay, and then we we stay, we stay down there, you know. So did the, the American soldiers? Did they come in Karakou? Yes, they did. Okay, and do, did they pick up anything? What did they do? Well, if I tell you, uh -huh. I was I was in in down down the road, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And well, everybody like the you know, when they were watching the, the, the helicopter come over the camp and and, and start to thing up and so forth. What what am I see? See, see this thing happen when the helicopter come over the bushes and things. I never see like this. And it is popular that the breeze and popular just opening the bush, so you know, wow, yes, like opening the bush, like if, like if somebody coming through the bush. Mm -hmm. And then all down the road, we see all that time the, the wrong hill down the road down there. That time we see all them soldiers used to be down the road down there, mm -hmm. like down flat and the belly, all kind of thing. Wow. And then and then and, and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. e even even you have a guy from Bogles down there. Mm -hmm. They 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 send they send the helicopter and the, and, the, and the bomber jet went down there too. Mm -hmm. And if I if I tell force him I see his bomber jet do this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. The bomber jet like coming from the sky and it's going straight down and 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 and, and, and the face you know. Mm -hmm. And I say well, I all made no. I say well that bomber jet going it's going to blow up because mm -hmm. he's going on straight on his face you know. Mm -hmm. And then when he reach, reach almost over the the the, 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 the solar house. He, 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 he just shoot back up straight up in the sky. I never see like see see so Bomaja do that. Did he drop off? Uh, why he did that? Did no, he pick up the man? No. What, what? After that, mm -hmm. they sent a helicopter to pick up the keep, 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 keep pick mm -hmm. up the soldier because mm -hmm. he don't want to come out. Mm -hmm. So what they do now? They, 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 from the helicopter now they they string up a, a couple soldiers and and launch them down on the ground to to get the soldier now in Bogles. And so what they did now, they, they tied a rope to, 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 the, to, the, to, the, to the soldier mm -hmm. and they went over during, I said, past there. Mm -hmm. And like, well, they, they tell me I have to jump. Mm -hmm. And he said, well, he, he's not jumping. Mm -hmm. So they say, well, yeah, I have to jump. So they go up, go, go up a couple of feet higher up in the sky and they just tell him jump and then, and, he, and he jump out on the ground. Wow. I say, like, and he follows like, 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 a, like a bag of flour, whoop. But he didn't die. No, he didn't die. Thank God. Yes. Listen, I remember what is the army truck or the government truck? A truck went down. The government truck, the when yellow government truck. Mm -hmm. He went, he, he, he went, he went, he went, he went, he went down there. Like he by go, the long slide. Yeah, he go over there. Mm -hmm. And then the um, I could remember first time in my life I see this, this two popular helicopter. Mm -hmm. it was a huge helicopter, it's not like the one popular. Mm -hmm. It's like the two. 
mm -hmm. popular mm -hmm. and that's that's what come and pick up the, the government truck so when wow. the when the when the when the are going up with the with the with the, with the, with the truck mm -hmm. the body of the truck fall long back and the, and the, the tray you just go up with the tray and then go down and the rest down and just say past the ground okay all right so before the u.s soldiers came in like six days after um there were coffee for four days what what did you do the during that time well them time they, they say everybody have to go at the, the soldiers here they say everybody have to go at their home mm -hmm. because once the once they come to invade they say everybody have to go home mm -hmm. so them time they were for, for like mongrel and everybody so home yes everybody go home so you didn't vent your out during that four no days everybody all. everybody had to go by the house and, 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 and stay, stay home, home. you okay. know there is coffee. Everybody had to go inside the house and stay, and anybody come out. Shot but I, could, I, could, I could remember. I could remember a gentleman was was playing brave, mm. and he decided well to come out. Mm. And I could remember. I could remember. They they, 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 they beat him and tell him he has to go home. Where? And force him to see see big man get get blows, uh -huh. and he uh -huh. have to go home. Here he comes standing on the grounds. I remember as a kid growing up, mom used to tell us about an incident which took place with you while mm -hmm. he was a militia. Tell us about that. Well, first of all, I must say, well, I was home and then mommy tell me, well, they, they come and borrow some stuff from us, you know, so mommy tell me well, to, to go, go for it. Mm -hmm. So when I go up, I meet a guy named name of, you have a soldier. Uh -huh. A soldier was on duty at the time. Uh -huh. And I come and I tell him, well, mommy sent me for certain, certain, certain things, you know. Mm -hmm. And then he, he called for the soldier from up here, from the camp, and I tell him, look, the patchy come for this, you know, mm -hmm. and he, and he tell them to bring it, bring it down for me. And the process doing that now, mm -hmm. he, show, he, he took out he, he took out the magazine now, and he show me, show me, show me, show me a bullet in magazine. Say if I only shoot you with that, that he could burn to ashes. So like he just want to try it out. Yeah, he's young. Well, yeah. I mean, show me the, the bullet now, and then he put it back inside now, mm -hmm. and then now he, he aiming at me now, and he, he say when it's a crank the gun and press trigger at the same time, and the, and the gun do do go in at. So I stand up there watching him and he had to come fighting at me and cranking and, and so forth. And he got to do going up at all. So I find I have a good time watching him doing that and I don't know if it's God that tell me, move, you know. And the same time, as soon as I move, mm -hmm. and I want to lean up on, 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 the, on the tree. Mm -hmm. I just said the bullet, the gun go up. Wow. So seven bullets just gone off one time. And, and if I tell you, eh, he was sitting at the chair while he doing that. And if I tell the gun so powerful, the gun lift him up out of the chair. And the gun stick follows the and he stick on the ground because it's them time you know he's gonna have a, like, a, like a knife in the end of it. Mm -hmm. So as he follows the end, he, he stick on the ground. Mm -hmm. And then he put it on his head you now, he starts to ball, oh god, oh yeah, go I kill Patrick, I kill Patrick. And at the same time now, all the soldiers from the camp start to run come down and ask what happened and I tell them what happened. Okay. And, and then cop, and so he just there as a kid with the gun and just playing around. Yes. And a couple of years after I went to to, to Mongrel in a party and, and Mm -hmm. And I meet him. I meet him in the party over there. And you he tell me, mm -hmm. "Yeah, but kill out to kill you, you know." Yes, yeah. just like that. So I said, "Just so you want to kill me? So mm -hmm. What I did to you want to kill me? So I said, "I don't want to kill you." He's dead and gone with his soul rest yes. in peace. You know. Yes. Yeah, so this was the quarters. Yeah. In front of us was the garage, and I remember after the dynam the bomb was exploded, there were two holes, one to the lower the bottom there, and one on the other side. Well, when the bomb out, when yes. the, after the bomb, then they talk and about the bomb. Everything and now is in ruin, I must say that. Everything now in ruin, but there are plans of cleaning this area. And okay. this is our heritage. We have to protect it. Yeah. And they show me that the history, according to Mark Asgard, is that a vessel sailing in the sea without right now. Amen. I heard thank that you. somewhere. So we're here, yeah. overlooking Fish Matnik. And thank you very much again, because... And the wonderful, game. wonderful the interview. Of us don't know how we put on the history. Eh? If you have bullets, you have the shells. But then we have the bullets. Bye.